Hello, friends. Let's practice science and English with me, Miss Bivens. Photosynthesis. Today we will talk about photosynthesis. Repeat after me: photo synthesis. Photosynthesis. In this lesson, you will follow along with me by watching the video and responding to questions on an assignment in Google Classroom. Pause the video as you need in order to write your answers. Number one, how would you feel if you were in the sun all day long without eating food? Pause now while you find the assignment on Google Classroom and answer this question. How would you feel if you were in the sun all day long without eating food? Did you write, I would feel hungry? You are correct. But does a cactus get hungry from being in a desert all day long? Does it order a pizza? Could I get a large pepperoni pizza, please? Click on this video to learn the answer to that question. Welcome back. Please go to your doc and answer this question. What do plants give us and why is this important? Did you write plants give us oxygen? That's right, they do. They give us oxygen and it's important because we need oxygen to breathe. For number three, pre please write the following definition on your Google doc. Please pause as you need. Gas that has no color, taste, or smell. Most animals need it to live. Please reread it when you finish writing it, looking at your own handwriting or typing. Next, it is important for us to understand two vocabulary words. The first one is autotroph. Autotroph. When you see this word or think of this word, I want you to look at its word parts. Its prefix auto means automatic. An autotroph is an organism that can make its own food. Here are some examples. Flowers and plants, trees, and grasses. These are all autotrophs because they can make their own food. 
The other important word for us to understand is heterotroph. Here is a picture of a heterotroph. Can this woman make her own food from sunlight, air, and water? A heterotroph is an organism that obtains or gets nutrients from consuming other organisms. Please go to the Google Doc and insert a picture of an autotroph and a heterotroph for numbers four and five. Next, go to the Quizlet linked in the doc Google Doc to practice these four vocabulary words. Thank you so much, friends. Please let me know or Miss Makemson know if you have any questions. We will continue learning more about photosynthesis next time.